Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. And I'm Matt. And this is the best looking full size SUV out there. <laughs> hey, I can't you believe said I'm it. saying that. You said it. About something with a blue oval That's on it. That's right. Behind me is the all new for 2022 Ford Expedition Timberline. And with the Timberline package, you get a lot of extra goodies. In particular, Corey loves this orange trim everywhere. Yes, I do. Give me orange accents. <laughs> Uh, you also get this beautiful green color. I'm a huge fan of green on cars. Please, 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 Ford, bring more green to vehicles. I love it so much. Um, but you also get a lot of uh, other things like wheels and tires that are specific to this rig. So these have 265 70 18 Goodyear Wranglers, and they are wrapped around some 18 inch wheels, which, as we've mentioned before on this channel, Wheels and tires speak to the purpose of the vehicle, and this is no exception. Being a Timberline, the intent is to get out and into the wild. Having tall tires on this rig, having the right size wheels on this rig mean that when you go out and enjoy nature, you're not gonna tear up the wheels by having 20s out in the mud. So, this makes a lot more sense. Let's move around the other side and get some interior stuff. So, included on this 2021 Timberline Expedition is this beautiful orange trim throughout the interior, this orange stitching throughout all the trim in this interior. And more green, Corey. The seats are green. Yes. I love it. Give me, give me accentuating colors. I love the orange on the green. Uh, the two-tone here is spectacular. So we recently had uh, an Expedition Max on our channel, um, 2021 model, which is the outgoing. And this isn't a huge departure from that, to be honest. Uh, a lot of the same features. The elephant in the room is this massive vertical screen here, which definitely brings the Expedition into the 2022 year model for sure. And it brings it up to date with a lot of other vehicles in this segment. So. Um, They'll have the, the dreaded turn dial um, shifter here, but you've also got different drive modes with your four wheel drive selection. Uh, this does have a two speed transfer case, so there's four high and four low, as well as a four auto. So if you're getting off the beaten path a little bit, click it over into four auto, you don't have anything to worry about and just kind of let it do its own thing. So uh, a lot of Don't forget the giggle here. button. Trail yes, turn assist. That's right. Yes. This also has what Corey loves to call the trail, the giggle button, the trail turn assist, um, which is pulled from the Bronco. And what it does is when you're turning, if you have that activated, it locks up the inside rear tire uh, and helps swing the front of the vehicle around whatever obstacle you're trying to navigate around. So. And it is a blast to use. It, it is definitely aptly named the giggle button. Yes. Gotta love those Ford sounds. Oh yeah, all the Ford sounds. So moving into the second row, which is the, about the size of a economy apartment living room. Yes. <laughs> it's massive back here. Very large vehicle. And loads of wonderful features. Uh, Ford has really thought of a lot when it comes to their, their family vehicles. Um, we've spoke to it in the F-150, but in this as well, there's a handle. Lots and lots of adjustability. This is a 40-20-40 split bench, which means this middle one also goes forward. A long ways forward. I love it because you can put a child seat in there yes. and give shoulder room to the outboard passengers. Or if you're trying to uh, bum some M&Ms off yes. of the kid in the back seat, this, you know, moving, this, moving them up means that you don't have to reach nearly as far. So super nice features. I believe this one also has, yes, the full forward for the third row, which I don't know why more manufacturers don't do this. You can leave the car seat attached to this seat, pull this thing forward and have plenty of access into the third row. You even timed me putting a child seat in here yes. and demonstrating just this feature in the, the 21 the that we had. Room. Incredible. Love it was that. under a minute, by the way, if you're wondering. Go check that video out. And then 
all the way and the way back. This is at the max, this is the shorter wheelbase version. So you don't have quite the same luggage space back here, but you do have power third row, which is fantastic. And a remote release for and, the second row. Yes, and the second row also releases. Also releases. There it is. And folds forward, which, I mean, you could sleep back here. Three or four people could sleep back here, really. I mean, it's massive. Yeah, perfect cabinets. overlanding rig right here. Perfect for overlanding, absolutely. And of course, the power lift gate makes it easy to get in and out of uh, both open and close. So here it is coming to you from the LA Auto Show at the 2022 Ford Expedition Timberline. If you haven't already, do us a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you get notified every time we post a video. And you can find out what we're doing behind the scenes stuff at Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk. And everything we do is at gtgaragetalk.com.